Cool guys, it's Killa K here, and I am with. Well, that's going in the bloopers. <laughs> So, let's get started. Before I started filming, I tried to cover my eyebrows, but I'm really bad at it and I have really thick brows, so I did pretty awful at it in general. But the two times, two or three times I've done this look before, I have not covered my eyebrows and it still came out just fine, so it's up to you. Do what you want. Search a video on how to cover your eyebrows if you don't know how and you want to, because I am not the person to tell you how. The other step, besides attempting to cover your eyebrows, is using your base color and covering the majority of your face in giant spots with the edges tapering off to give a more cloud-like effect. For my color scheme, I planned on using blue, pink, and purple just because I see a lot of galaxy prints that are those colors. And well, I like those colors, guilty as charged. But yeah, just taper out the edges and cover the majority of your face. By the end of the look, these colors will not, your base color will not be most of your face, if that makes sense. But yeah, now I'm going in with my second color, which is purple, and I'm going around the edges of the blue, just filling in more skin. Make sure you do leave some spaces of your skin empty for your third color, or fourth or fifth colors, whatever you choose to do. You can do whatever colors you want. You don't even need to do it the way I do it. You don't even need this video. But, um, please watch this video. <laughs> so yeah, you see me going in with the purple, and next I'm going to take pink. Too bad my skin is as pink as Rufus the Naked Mole Rat. Trademark, Disney Channel, copyrighted, I'm not sure what to call it. Don't get, don't sue me! And I take that pink and I go in the spaces I haven't already filled in with one of the other colors. Mind you, for this look, I chose to use water-based paints, which happen to be Snazaroo. You can use grease, alcohol, whatever you want. Just please make sure it's safe for your skin. Because I don't want you using spray paint on your face. Unless it's safe! safe face. Face safe spray paint, then do as you please. But yeah, the other cool thing about this look and with watercolor paints, and I'm pretty sure grease and alcohol will work the same too, I don't have much experience with them so don't quote me on this, is as you saw I had a big chunk of blue on my cheek and I was able to break it up with the pink paint. Next move, I take a small paintbrush and I cover it in white paint and I start drawing stars onto my face. Now, up close, these stars actually look pretty cheesy, but they look good from afar. But in the event someone gets close, I kind of dab them out a little bit, just like that. And just so it would just soften the edges and then so they're not as harsh. And I keep going all around my face with these, and eventually I start just adding little dots. Next, I'm going to take a sponge and put white paint on that for more stars and more texture. And then I'm going to realize I need more water on the sponge, and then I'm going to put too much on, and then I'm going to dab it out. That's right. I said dab! Anyways, poor meme reference over. Uh, I just kept adding stars to stimulate like the galaxies and the Milky Ways and such and so forth. And if you want to draw an alien on your face, go for it. Go as crazy with this look as you want. Yep, so now I'm just deciding everything's good. Then I'm dancing because I a lot of watch Mikey videos. And now I'm going to take a brush and a black eyeshadow and contour, because we know contouring has become the biggest thing of 2016. Whether you use a matte or shimmery shadow is completely up to you. Mine was kind of a weird mix of both, I'm not really sure. Either way, if you want to know, I used a revolver from the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette, but like I said, use any shadow you want. You don't even need to contour. Yet again, this look is completely up to you, just as every other makeup look is, so I'm just going to stop saying that now and hope you understand. I decided to contour just around the general area of my face, my cheekbones, and my jaw. If you want to go in a little more and do your like eye bone, eye bone, eyebrow bone, and your nose and under your lips, feel free. Now I'm looking, I decide I'm pretty happy with this look, and now I'm not sure what I'm doing now. Oh, I guess the look is finished, and this is just me goofing off and giving B roll so I can voice over. Anyway, I'll tell you about the products I used. Keep in mind, every product I use is just what I've been using and what I had my hands on. They are by no means the only products you can use to do this look. So get ready. The bare essentials you will need for this look are face paints. 
There are three popular types of face paints, water-based, like I just said, I used before, alcohol-activated, and grease paints. Although, I'm sure if you look hard enough, you will find some weird, obscure fourth type, like maybe a goat milk face paint. For water-based, I use Snazaroo and Mehron most often, though there are many brands you can try and experiment with. These are just the two I have the most experience with, so I use them. I have used my Mehron Basic Palette for this look in the first couple times I've done it, I just didn't happen to use it in this tutorial. But, like I said, find the paints you want, use them, do what you please. And if you can't find face paints, an alternative is eyeshadows. I've seen a YouTube tutorial that was similar to this, where she used eyeshadows over a white base. I forget what she used as a base, so I would suggest getting a white face paint at the very least if you can. But if you can't, you can use another white makeup product, such as NYX's Coconut Macaron Lippy, or even NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil in White or I'm sure there are many other white products, these are just the ones that come to the top of my head that I own. You can also use these to make the stars. So those are the bare essentials, but also sponges are the best way to apply this if you ask me. I have the regular face paint sponges that tend to come with the Snazaroo kits, and I also have textured sea sponges which I use for things like the stars. And as they imply the name, they're used for more texture. To go into more details, like the contour, I recommend a big fluffy brush or any brush you prefer to contour. I used a BH Cosmetics brush that came in a kit I bought, and then I used a black eyeshadow. Like I said earlier, I used the Revolver shadow from Urban Decay's Vice 3 palette, but you can use any shadow you want, matte or shimmer, live your life. If you want to glam up this look even more, the first time I did it, I used these sparkly eyelashes from BH Cosmetics and Superstar, and then I usually just use a black eyeliner with it. I didn't really take a picture of that because there are so many black eyeliners, it really doesn't matter which one I use, because I don't remember which one I used, but either way, you get the point. And then, if you want to zazz it up even more, you can add contacts. Yet again, didn't take a picture of them because I think these ones that I had that I used went bad, so I just don't have them on anymore. I need to get another pair, but you can see them in the photo here. Anyway, zazz it up however you want. I just made up the word zazz, but I'm going to roll with it. Have a great time, have fun with this look, live your life, and see you next time. Bye! You know, this might just all go for real. I might just do a voiceover and be doing silly things. Shut up, Bert! Ah.